Hello, welcome to the iPad Chromebook Cart Refresher Training presented by Heather Magner and Gina Pierce. So we're going to go ahead and get started with issues from last year. Number one issue, uh, teachers taking carts that were not checked out to them. If a cart is that you checked out is not available, please don't take another one. Let's problem solve it first. Second thing was carts were not returned on time. I get it, the struggle is real. If you can't get it back on time, there are several ways you can problem solve this. One, look on the calendar, see who has it next, and call them. You can then deliver it to their door. Or even better, look ahead of time and make a, a plan with the teacher who has it next. The student checkout sheets were a hot mess. There was an email regarding this given by me to you last year. Basically, here's what we need on them. Here are two non-examples. They, the first one is beautiful. Look at that, even t you know, run off and can be reused, except it's lacking the teacher name, the date, and the period that the checkout occurred. Same with this example, teacher, date, period. Teacher name, the date, and the period must be on the sheets. Let's look at some beautiful, prime, excellent A-plus examples. Note the star. Um, the first one is what we're kind of hoping you guys will do is just m have your name and the period already on and the only thing you'll need to fill out is the date and the cart you used. This, if you use our forms, also just written in. Beautifully done, Tolson and Muir. Good job. Lastly, one of the problems was the carts not charging. There are only two reasons. One, it's not connected to electricity or two, the switch on the back has to be in the down position in order for the carts to charge. Okay, so things you need to remember. Please make sure to attach the student rosters. And as Magner said, they have to have the period, the date, and the teacher name so we can hold students accountable if an issue does arise. All right. Number two, please fill out the teacher checkout sheet and please list any issues. If there are any issues, um, as in a broken keyboard or something like that, I will file a tick, tick, tech ticket for that. Um, if there is a device that's actually missing, please don't just write it here, but please let Heather or Ann know so we can take care of that immediately. All right, everybody, we have something new in the process. How exciting! There are whiteboards in the back room where the carts are located, and instead of making eye contact with Anne or I, because that was just too many people, too many carts to even remember, now you're going to just jot your name next to the cart and put the periods that you have it. This will alleviate any confusion over where the carts are completely. Uh, thank you so much for adding this into the process. Note there are two boards, one for the Chromebook carts, which is located by the back door on the wall, and one for the iPad carts located over on that other wall by the sink. Below in the hanging file folders are any extra um, copies that you may need. All right, so finally, just so you know, subs cannot check out carts, so please do not sign up for a cart on a day that you are going to be out. Um, second thing is student teachers may use the carts under your supervision. You will be checking out the, the cart under your name, um, but it does need to be under your supervision. And lastly, if you... Don't forget to subscribe to the calendars. All right, when you're on the calendar, there are a few tricky things. But as you can see on Monday, Miss Gina Pierce has correctly made a reservation because it shows up in two colors. The first color, purple, is correlates with her the color she chose for her own personal calendar, and that's where you can change all all reservations. The other is the cart color. She's chosen blue, and you can't no everyone can see that, but no one can touch it or mess with your reservation. One problem is you have inadvertently sometimes turn the color off of your cart. You click the box next to the cart. And once that box is white, you notice the cart no longer shows up on your calendar. So make sure that your colors are turned on and that um, they're pleasing colors. 
Second, you want to add a cart. You go up to Other Calendars, do the drop down menu. You're going to Browse Interesting Calendars. Up at the top, Holiday Sports, you're going to click More. You're going to go down the list to Resources for SB Unified, and then DPHS. Here, you will have a listing of everything available for you to subscribe to um, on our calendars. As you can see, Ms. Pierce has just unsubscribed. That means she's taking them off her calendar. And if she wants to add it, she's going to click it so it says subscribe. Let's go to cart I. It's our newest one and hit subscribe. And it's done. Oh, and it's done. And up at the top, go back to calendar. It will now show up on the far left, and she just needs to give it a color. So here is the iPad Chromebook Cart Teacher Agreement that you've signed in previous years. This year, you're going to go ahead and check a box saying that you've read through and agreed to the terms, um, everything outlined here. Um, just be mindful that if you do um, not uphold to some of these key things here that you may uh, may result in a one month suspension from using the carts. So um, please check the box on the next screen, agree or disagree, and then that will complete your training. Thank All right. you. Thanks you guys.